All right, we're back at the church to do a passive site survey, and that's going to be where we gather the wireless information of what's here right now. Now, in reality, it's not very necessary to do that at this location because we're really doing a rip and replace of everything that's here and putting a brand new system in. I'm really doing this for two reasons. One, it's good practice. And two, it's good to see what was here before so that when you come back after you've put your new system in place, you can say, this is what your coverage looked like before we got here. Now this is going to be what it looks like after we're here. Now what I've done here is carefully balanced all of my Ekaho equipment. This actually isn't the laptop that I usually use for site surveys. You can see I have this Velcro strip put on here. I usually have a uh, accompanying Velcro strip on the side so I can stick this on the side and not quite have to balance it so much. But nonetheless, I've been dealt this hand. I'm going to work with it. Uh, so I'm going to start from the entrance of this church, which actually... Uh, stands right over here, and I'm going to click right at the top. Notice I've clicked on the survey tab. I'm going to click on the continuous survey. Uh, the stop and go survey is where you can actually say, okay, I'm going to, uh, you know, stop right here, measure, move to another location, stop right here, and measure. The continuous survey is actually going to be as you're walking. It's a little more accurate, and it's a lot more fun, in my opinion. So we are actually standing right here at the door right now. I'm going to click on the floor plan as this is going to be where I start my, my walking. And then I'm going to walk. It's actually taking measurements all along. I just walked by this. I'll click a point right here. And you can see what it's doing is it's actually measuring the Wi-Fi signal of where I'm at. So I'm standing right in front of these doors of the sanctuary right now. I'll click a button which says take a measurement right there. Hang a left. Just click as I pass these doors. Moving along down this hallway. Click a button as I'm going. And you can see I'm actually going through and traversing the hallway of this location, walking at a pretty even speed the whole way through. Now I'm actually gonna stop right there and measure right now because what I'm able to see is where the wireless coverage is. Based on what Ekahau knows right now, it says, okay, I'm guessing there's a wireless access point somewhere around here. Now I know it's actually behind this wall, but just based on where I've walked, it's saying, eh, the signal is strongest right here. So I'm assuming this is where it's at with this one single path that you've walked. Now you can see uh, down in the lower right-hand corner, we've got all of these different uh, ratings where we see you know, negative 90 dB, negative 70. Where we pass negative 70 is where we move into this gray. Now, again, this is just based on where we've walked, based on the walls that I've drawn on this floor plan. This is more of an estimate of where that signal is. The true way to get this survey is to walk the entire thing, which I'm going to do right now, <laughs> and I'm going to do it off camera because it's much more difficult to move the camera around with me. And we'll come back and see what the coverage looks like for this building when it's said and done. All right, the survey is finished. Now take a look, you can see this is where I initially walked and I stopped right about here. But once I walked the rest of the way, and you can see it's just following the path all the way through the building, I actually went outside the building, inside these doors, down through each one of these things. As I walked this, it actually realized, wait a sec, the wireless access point is more this direction than it was standing in the actual hallway. It's just when I hadn't walked the whole thing, that's what it said. But look at what we have at this facility as an initial starting point. This tells me they've got one wireless access point that powers this entire site. Look at the scale down here. Essentially, once we pass that negative 80, which is right about this border right there, we've got nothing. So even though I was walking in all this area, it's just saying, hey, nobody's home here. There is no wireless signal. What a great survey that I'm going to be able to put in front of the administration and say, hey, guys, <laughs> we can make this so much better. Now you may look at this and get the impression like, wow, well, all we got to do is add another wireless access point right there and bam, we've got the whole thing covered. Well, sure, if you just want it to look green on a map. Here's the problem. If you've got somebody connecting in this area of the building to this WAP, or I would say even worse yet, over in this area of the building where they're just barely getting a signal, they're going to get a speed of one megabit per second or so. Now the challenge with that is that wireless access point is going to negotiate a time slot that allows that one megabit per second to work. And if that laptop or whatever device is out there connecting to it actually begins using the internet at that rate, it will eat up the entire RF spectrum because negotiating that rate that low means you're giving a lot more time for that device to communicate. So we're not just going to make everything green. We're going to make sure that we can negotiate at the higher data transfer rates for all the devices that connect. That's why when we did our predictive survey, we ended up with five wireless access points being placed on the map. What we're saying is not just that we want coverage, it's that we want the capacity 
capacity to be able to handle real-time communications and applications that can consume a significant amount of bandwidth on a regular basis over Wi-Fi. The only other thing worth mentioning is that any site survey software worth its weight in salt will generate an automated report on its findings. This is what Ekahow generated in Microsoft Word format. Now, it's going to look pathetic, and that's just because there was only one wireless access point at the customer site, and it found it saying, hey, here's the path that we walked, and you fail. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're, uh, you're pretty much uh, failing the entire uh, survey. And, th and the reason why is because the criteria it has is it's saying, hey, I need to have at least two wireless access points that have some signal overlap. I'm not seeing that everywhere. So pretty much everything fails by the time it's said and done. So if we really wanted to do a survey around one wireless access point, we can tune the survey to report based on that. But in this case, this report is pretty much saying you're in a dismal state. <laughs>